Hi, just in case anyone's interested, I thought I would make a quick video of this power hacksaw. It's a Quarters and Smith Type 6H. It's a bit difficult to read the nameplate now, uh, partly due to my aggressive cleaning. It was absolutely filthy, this machine. Someone had uh, previous, by the look of it, someone had been using old engine oil as their cutting lubricant so yeah it was really messy and I bought it a couple of weeks or so ago uh, previously I've always been using this you can just put it under the cover that's a Rapidor Manchester uh, and I saw this and it was just so cheap I just felt that I couldn't resist it uh, it was £50 including the three-phase motor but unfortunately it was star wound the motor it seemed a little bit slightly dodgy as well so I've actually dumped the motor and uh, before I picked it up, I didn't know the model, and I asked the guy who was selling it, a very decent chap, by the way, uh, how uh, heavy he thought it was. And he said, oh, about 175 kilos. Well, tell you what, it's nothing like that. Uh, um, since knowing what it is, uh, I've now uh, found a data sheet and it's about 340 kilos. Well, I think that might be including the motor. So it's heavy. It's heavy machine anyway. Now, uh, it is actually in remarkably good condition. I mean, it's really, really good condition. It's got the optional coolant pump down there. Let's see if I can get the brightness turned up a little bit. No, you can't really see it. But there, there is a coolant pump down there as well. Uh, the jaws all in good condition. The uh, Basically, everything is bearings are all good. Nothing wrong with it, really. Uh, apart from uh, before... I picked up the machine. I didn't notice this. Uh, now, whether it got broken while I was moving it or not, I don't know. But this this lever here and this cam, well, the cam has a spigot that goes through. Uh, you can't really see it. It's a bit too dark, I think. But anyway, basic, so basically this, this got broken off. Um, so I've made this uh, from new. So I turned that on the lathe, uh, milled out that... Uh, slot there like that okay so it's got a positive engagement and i thought that was probably all i needed to do other than recharge the hydraulic oil that's the cylinder and there's an eccentric down there somewhere which you probably can't see uh unfortunately though uh when i fitted the handle last night i realized uh that because it pushes uh pushes down there's there's like a sort of like a flapper valve or something down the bottom it wasn't it wasn't quite long enough it was really weird actually uh so i ended up let me just see if i can pull this up uh, i ended up having to uh, remake uh this push rod as well uh that actually turned out to be quite easy in fact that push rod is part of i don't know whether it's a printer or a scanner but it's one of those precision ground rods had to turn that and um had to thread the end Ooh, up there it's really difficult to see i know sorry about the light uh but that actually works fine now so now uh, hopefully you'll see it dropping it goes down quite gradually and i can't show you one-handed but if i were to turn the main pulley wheel it actually uh does hydraulic lift as well so that's actually all working now so for £50, pounds, uh, plus a couple of bits of scrap, because uh, that still just came from, uh, literally came from the skipper at work. And I'm not sure about the rod from the printer or the scanner. That was probably just one that was from the skip as well. Um, yeah, so basically it's cost me £50. Pounds. I've still got to stick a motor on. Uh, and now we've got the very same power hacksaw at work and I don't like how it runs so fast okay I find it a bit scary actually I like the slow sedate speed of my uh, rapid or Manchester so I want to have a slower running motor on this so my plan is probably to stick something like this on which is an eight pole three phase motor so they run at 50 hertz they run at I think it's 680 rpm uh, and I think these were originally spec'd with a uh, I'm not sure of the exact speed. I think it's 960 RPM. Uh, so I want to go for a, you know 680 RPM ma uh, maximum, like 50 hertz. And I might even run it as slower than 50 hertz. Uh, so I'm just going to have this just run really sedately. I like 
I like my hacksaw to run slowly, nice and quietly. I'm in no rush at all. I'm only doing uh, stuff at home. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can wait as long as, as long as I want to go and have a coffee or something. Anyway, so next job then, uh, apart from a little bit more cleaning down because it is a little bit messy underneath, uh, I've got to find a way to actually fit a motor. The uh, motor rails, if you could call them that down there, let's see if I can get the brightness turned off a bit. Uh, the motor rails down here um, don't really seem to match up with with a largest framed uh, eight pole uh, motor, so I might have to uh, jig something up new there. Um, haven't quite decided what to do at the moment. Oh, and also because it is incredibly difficult at the moment, I've just got it on a couple of uh, cut off rollers there. Uh, but it is incredibly difficult to move around. Um, 340 kilos is uh, no joke to be honest, moving that around. So, uh, plan is uh, I'm gonna either make some wheels up or buy a dolly but i don't like buying anything so i think i'm going to be making it up um haven't quite decided how to do that i know the thing is supposed to be bolted down but then again so is my rapidor never have a problem i'll just quickly show you the rapidor just sits like on a wooden frame there which i can use uh, that trolley on uh, which i have no problem shifting around this one is like twice the weight though probably so uh yeah Anyway, when I've um, made any more progress, if you're interested, I can post another video. That's it for now.